Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and the subject we are studying today is Cambridge O Levels Mathematics Syllabus D. We call it D Maths 4024. We are working on the syllabus of this subject, and today we are working on the vectors, and we are talking about uh, applications of vectors, vectors in real world context geometric problems involving vectors. This also involves the concept of expression of a vector in terms of two other vectors, position vectors, translation vectors. So the book we are using is New Syllabus Mathematics 7th edition, uh, published by the Oxford University Press. And the soft copy which I have is from the Shingley Publishers. And in the Shingli Publisher, this is exercise SAM 5D, which I am going to work on. And in the Oxford University Press book, it is exercise 7D. So this is exercise 7D from the D4 book. And in this session, in this video, we are going to work from question number 13 to question number 18. Uh, the question number one to question number 12, I have already made a video on that and I have uploaded in my YouTube channel and in the playlist of my YouTube channel, you can see them and the playlist is by the name of the uh, D4, so you can find that, that video. So let's start uh, today's uh, session and here we go. So we are working on the exercise 5D from the book D3, uh, D4, sorry, and New Syllabus Mathematics 7th edition. And in this video, we are going to start from the question number 13. Okay. So the question number 13 is showing up on your screen. And let me show you. Okay. It says given that A is the point 1, 2. AB is a column vector 4 minus 5. AC is also a column vector 6, 3. And that M is the midpoint of the BC. The first question is find BC. So BC is very easy. We will make the bypass for the BC. BC will be from B go to A, from A go to C. So you will have the uh, BC value. So let me show you. Okay. So the solution is showing up on your screen. BC will be equals to BA plus AC. BA will be opposite of the AB. So it will be minus 4, 5 plus the AC is 6, 3. So when you add these two column vectors with each other, so the result will be Minus four plus six is two, five plus three is eight. So the BC will be two, eight. Okay, then they want me to find out the AM. You see the M is the midpoint of the BC. So uh, I know the value of the BC by now. I want to find out AM. So from A, I will go to B and from B, I will go to M. And that will give me a m. So that's the bypass for the, uh, you know, uh, okay. So the a m will be equals to the a b plus b m because the b m is the midpoint of the b c. So in the place of b m, I can write one by two of the b c. So the a m will be equals to the a b plus half of the b c. A b is four minus five in the column vector. And one by two BC is two eight. We have just calculated, I can show you, yeah. You can see the BC is two eight. So, and, uh, so uh, four minus five plus, uh, when you divide two with the two, you get one. When you divide eight with the two, you get four. So now when you add these two column vectors, so four plus one will be five and minus five plus four will be minus one. So the AM will be five minus one in the column vector. Then the question is the coordinates of the point D such that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay, 
So this name is very important. You will join A with the B, B with the C, C with the D, D with the A, A, B, C, D parallelogram. Okay, so I will make a rough sketch of the... So here you can see, I will make a rough sketch of this uh, parallelogram, A, B, C, D, just for understanding. Uh, because it's a parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the vector form, they are equal to each other. For example, the DC, we don't know the coordinates of the D. For example, I can tell you that the vector AB and the vector DC, they will be equal to each other. In the parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal to each other. Now, first of all, let me find out the value of the coordinates of the C. So I, I know the value of the AC. The AC value is given in the statement of the question. So I will use the position vector formula OA plus AC equals to OC. So 1 by 2 plus 6, uh, sorry, 1, 2 plus 6, 3 equals to OC. So it will be 7, 5. So the coordinates of the C point are 7, 5. Then uh, because the DC is equals to AB, in the position vector, the DC will be OC, OD plus DC equals to OC. So then in the place of the DC, I can write OC minus OD. These are the position vectors. And that will be equals to AB. AB, we already know, is 4 minus 5. So the OC, I just calculated that 7, 5 minus OD equals to 4 minus 5. So the OD will be equals to, the minus OD will be equals to 4 minus 5 minus 7, 5. So 4 minus 7, that's minus 3, minus 5, minus 5, minus 10. So I can, uh, <clears throat> so minus OD is equals to uh, minus 3, minus 10. So multiply both sides with a negative one and you will get OD equals to 3, 10. So the coordinates of the point D are 3, 10. So this is how you can find the coordinates of the point D, which is a part vertex of a parallelogram. And I hope you have understood that uh, how this is done. So that was question number 13, third part. Okay, so we are going to the next question. The next question coming up on your screen is question number 14. It says uh, PQRS is a parallelogram. The BQ is equals to 2RB. So it means if the BQ is 2, the RB will be 1. And that total thing will be 3. This, this is the ratio. Okay. In the same way, it says AR is 1. SR, this total thing is 3. So this is one, this is two, the total thing SR is three. So this is how you write the ratios. Uh, you will write these ratios on the diagram. He says the PS is equals to, uh, the PS is equals to A and the PQ is equals to B, okay? He says express um, SA. So they want you to express SA, okay? So SA is a small portion of, uh, you know, uh, I can find SA, there's no problem. Uh, so you can see this diagram. I have uh, prepared this diagram. BQ by RB is two ratio one. So this this portion is two, this is one. And uh, AR is one and the SR is three. SR is the total thing. So that the total thing is three. So this is one, so this is two, the total is three. Then they say PS, this one is vector A and the PQ is the vector B. So this is that diagram. Okay, the first question is find the SA. You know, I want to find out the SA and I know the value of the SR. So I will, uh, here I write on the top SA, I want to find out an SR whose value I already know. The value of the SR, you know, SR is equals to B because this is a parallelogram. Basically, the PQ is B. SR is the opposite side, so it will be also equals to the vector B. So uh, the SA will be equals to 2 by 3 of the SR. So it will be 2 by 3 of the B. 
So this is the first part. And the next part, they say, find the QB, the QB. So I know the QR value that is equals to A because they are parallel sides of the parallelogram. So they are QR is equal to the vector A. So I know that I can find the QB. QB is a part of that side. So the QB is question, the QR I want to, I already know its value. The ratio between them is two by three. So the QB will be two by three of the QR. So the QR is A equals to A, parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So the two by three of the A. So this is how you find the QB. Okay, the next part they want is the PB. They want us to find PB. For PB, I will make the bypass. I will go from P to Q, from Q to B. That will give me PB. So let me show you. So if you want to find out the value of the PB, uh, we will make the bypass. PB will be equals to go from P to Q and from Q go to B. PQ is uh, equals to B and the QB is two by three of A. So the PB will be B plus two by three A. So that is question number A is third part. Okay, so next is fourth part and they want, uh, okay, next is the, uh, the third part is done, the PB. And the next is fourth part, they want me to find out QS. So they want the QS, so QS will be equals to, let me show you the strategy from here, QS. So QS will be, we will make the bypass, from Q go to P, from P go to S. Okay, QS will be equals to the QP plus PS. The QP is minus B plus PS is positive A. So the QS is equals to A minus B. Okay, the next question they ask is find the BA, from B to go to A, from B go to R, from R go to A. And very simple. So BA will be uh, from B go to R, from R go to A. The BR is one by three of the QR and the RA is one by three of the RS. QR is equals to A and the RS is equals to minus B. So you will have one by three A minus one by three B. So you can take one by three common. So one by three bracket A minus B bracket close. So this is how you do question number A and its fifth part. The next question they are asking us is, he says, uh, calculate the value of the BA by the SQ. We have found their value, so I can find their ratio. So their question is find the BA by the QS. BA value is one by three bracket A minus B bracket close, where the QA, QS is A minus B. So this A minus B, A minus B, A, B, A minus B and A minus B will be canceled. So you are left with one by three. So the BA by QS is equals to one by three. Okay. So now the next thing they are asking is find the area of the triangle ABR and the SQR. If you remember, uh, because the value of the AB and the QS, you see their ratio is one by three. And the important thing is that this and this, they have the same vector, only the coefficients are different. So it means they are parallel to each other, by which I can tell you, that the triangle ABR and the triangle SQR, they are similar to each other. So he's asking us to find out the area, the, uh, the ratio of the areas of the triangle ABR and the triangle SQR. So both these two triangles, they are similar to each other and I know the ratio between their sides. So uh, the area of the triangle ABR and the area of the triangle SQR, <coughs> 
So we just calculated the ratio of the between their sides, that is one by three. So the area ratio is the two things, if they are similar to each other, the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their sides. So the one side is one and the other side is three. So just square it and you get one by nine. So the area of the triangle ABR uh, ratio, the area of the triangle SQR will be one by nine. So that is question number 14 B, second part. Then he wants us to find out the area of the triangle ABR and the area of the triangle PQRS. So try to understand this idea. If I know the area of the SQR, SQR is a triangle. And if I will double it, it will be the area of this whole parallelogram. Okay, so this is the way. Triangle, area of the triangle ABR by the area of the Parallelogram PQRS is the question. So I'm starting from area of the triangle ABR by the area of the triangle SQR in the previous part we just calculated. That is equal to one by nine. So if you double the triangle SQR, that will be equal to the uh, parallelogram. That area will be equal to the area of the PQRS. So the area of the triangle ABR divided by two times so multiply both the denominators uh, with the two. So you will have area of the triangle ABR by two times the area of the triangle uh, Q SQR. That will be equals to one by nine. And the denominator will multiply with the two. So you will have area of the triangle ABR if you double the triangle SQR. That is equals to the area of the triangle PQRS. Okay. So basically what I'm saying, if you double the area of this triangle, that will be equal to the area of this parallelogram. Okay, so it will become one by 18. So when you multiply two with the nine, it becomes 18. So that is how you do the B third part. Okay, next thing they are asking is, the question is over. So we are going to the next question. The next question is question number 15. It says in the diagram, T is the point of intersection of the diagonals of a quadrilateral PQRS. And the PR is equal to three times PT. So and the, this is one and the PT is three. Okay, so that's the ratio between them. Then it says that the PS will be 5B and the PQ will be 4A plus B and the PR will be equals to 3A plus 12B. Okay, these are the things given to us, okay? So then it says express as simply as possible in terms of uh, A and B. First of all, they are asking us to find out the RS. So they want me to find out RS, okay? So if you want to find out RS, okay. So this is the diagram, the ratio, uh, this is uh, two and this is one, the whole thing is uh, three. So uh, the RS is the question. So RS will be equals to RP plus PS. The RP will be minus 3A minus 12B and plus uh, PS will be 5B. So the RS will be equals to minus 3A minus 7B. So this is how you will find the RS the R, S, R to S, okay? So the bypass we made is from R go to P, from R go to P, and from P go to S, and that will give you R, S. Then the question is, what is the value of the R, T? So we know the ratio between them, it is given here. So this is the ratio given. So I can find easily R, T, okay? So the question is RT. So I, I want to find out RT. I know the value of the RP. So RT will be two and the RP will be three. So the RT will be two by three of the RP. And that will be equals to two by three of the minus three A minus 12 B. So when you multiply two by three with the minus three, you get the minus two A. And when you multiply minus eight with the minus 12 B, it will become uh, sorry, when you multiply 2 by 3 with the 12B, sorry, 
Let me two by three multiply with the minus three a. It will give you minus two a. When you multiply two by three with the minus twelve b, it will give you minus eight b. So that is the value of the RT. Okay, the value of the RT. Then the question is, what is the value of the RQ? So I want to find out the value of the RQ. So I will make the bypass here. So because you want to find out the RQ, so the RQ will be from R, I will go to P. From P, I will go to Q. So you will get the RQ. The RQ will be the RP is minus 3A minus 12B plus 4A plus B. So it is uh, A minus 11B. So the RQ value will really is A minus 11B. Then the question is, show that the QT is equals to 3 bracket B minus A. So we have to find the value of QT. So you want to find out the value of the QT. So the QT will be equals to from Q go to R, from, from Q go to R, from R go to T. So the QT will be QR plus RT. And you know the QT will be, the QR is minus A plus 11B. And the RT is minus 2A minus 8B. So it will be minus 3A plus 3B. And I can take three common. So you will have uh, uh, the B will become negative and the A will become positive. A will become, let me explain to you. So if you take three common, it will become three. Uh, so it will be, it will be B minus a sorry i said something wrong so i have taken three common so in the bracket i will have b minus a so this is how you find the qt then they want us to find out express the q as uh, express qs as simply as possible in terms of a and b qs okay so i will make its bypass so you see the QS is the question. For QS, I will go from Q to P and from P to S. The QS will be equals to the QP is minus 4A minus B plus 5B. And the QS will be equals to minus 4A and plus 4B. So the QS will be equals to 4B minus 4A. So that is how you do the question number 15, C part. And then we have the question number 15, is D part. He says, uh, uh, calculate the value of the QT by QS. Okay, QT by QS. So the QT by QS, the QT is, uh, we have to find the ratio between the QT by QS. So it will be three bracket B minus A bracket close divided by four bracket B minus A bracket close. So these two brackets will be canceled. So you have the value three by four. So the ratio between the QT and the QS is three by four. So that is how you do the question of 15. It's a D part and it's three by four. Then this is find the area of the triangle PQT, the PQT and the triangle PQS, PQS. PQT and the PQS, okay? So basically what they want is the QT divided by the QS. So the QT is three bracket B minus A back close. And the QS is four bracket B minus A back close. So bracket bracket will be canceled. So you're left with the three by four. Three by four, okay. Then the question is uh, the second part, uh, question number 15. He says, area of the triangle PQT and the area of the triangle PQS, PQT and PQS, okay? So the PQT and the PQT and the PQS. So both of these... Uh, 
the these triangles the pqt and the pqs you see the baseline is same for both the triangles and the third vertex is common in both the triangles so when this happens the ratio of the areas is equals to the ratio of the bases. If the baseline is same for both the triangles and the third, uh, the third vertex uh, or the, the third vertex is same and the baseline is same, then the ratio of the areas is e simply equals to the ratio of the sides. So the side for the PQT is three and for the PQS, the side is four. So the answer will be three by four. So we have done how much? So we have done the second part. Okay. Okay, the area of the triangle PQT and the RQT. PQT, PQT and the RQT, their baseline is also same and their vertex will be same. The vertex is common in both of them. Q, PQT and the RQT. So we are done with this, okay. So the a triangle of area of the triangle PQT by the area of the triangle RQT. So if you look at these two triangles, their baseline is same and their third vertex is common. So the ratio of their areas will be equals to the ratio of their bases. You see this baseline is common and this third vertex is common. So the ratio of their areas will be simply equals to the ratio of their bases. So the B1 base 1 is 1 and the base 2 is 2. So that is how you do the question number 15 and D and third part. So we are done with the question number 15. Okay. So now we are going to the next question. The next question is question number 16. Okay, the question number 16, he says that the OABC is a parallelogram and ACT is a straight line. So the ACT is a, ACT is a straight line. So they say OC is produced to meet uh, uh, BT at the a point R and the BT is four times BR. So this BT is four and the BR is one. So this is three, this is one, this is three. The total thing is four in the terms of ratio. OA from O to A is vector P and from O to C, from O to C, the vector is Q. And uh, the TC, the value of the TC is also already given that's three bracket P minus Q bracket close. It says express as simply as possible in terms of P and Q, the OT from O to T. Okay. So that is the target. Okay. From OT is equals to OC plus CT. From O go to OC plus CT. Okay. So the OT is equals to OC plus CT. So OT will be equals to, uh, you know, the OT is Q minus 3 bracket P minus Q bracket close. So it will be P minus 3P plus uh, 3Q. So it will be uh, 4Q minus 3P. So that's question number 16A is first part. 4Q minus CP. Then the question is find AT. Okay, so if you want to find out the AT, so the AT will be equals to, I have applied uh, AO plus OT. 
from A go to O and from O go to T. So AT will be uh, minus P plus 4Q minus 3P. So it will be, AT will be 4Q minus 4P. So that will be equals to 4 and Q minus P. So that's question number 16 and the second part. Okay, in the third part, he says find OB from O to B, okay. OB is equals to OA plus AB. And so the OB will be equals to the OA is P and the AB is Q. So the OB will be P plus Q. Okay, the next question they are asking is find AT. AT. What is the question? The question is uh, find the OB. That is the third part. Are we done with the third part? No. Uh, the third part is uh, find the OB. The OB will be OA plus AB. So it will be P plus Q. P plus Q. So that is the value of the OB. Now the next question is find the BT. So BT is BA plus AT. So BT will be minus, four, minus Q plus 4Q minus 4P. So it will be uh, 3Q minus 4P. So the BT value will be 3Q minus 4P. The value of the BT. Okay, then they want me to find out the TR. TR, okay, this thing. So the, the TR, the TR by TB, we already know the ratio between them. TR by the TB, TR is three and the TB is four. So the TR is three by four of the TB. We, we know the expression for the TB. So the TR will be equals to three by four of the minus three Q plus four P. Minus three Q plus four P. Three by four is outside. So let's go to the next part. He says, uh, so that is TR, okay. So we are done with the A part. And the next part is find the CR. From C, you have to go to R, okay. So, so the CR, uh, I will make it uh, bypass. So, uh, C to B and plus B to R. C to B plus B to R, that is the CR. So the CR will be equals to C to B is P and the BR is one by four of the BT. One by four of the BT. So P plus one by four bracket three Q minus four P. So it will be P plus three Q by four minus P. So P and positive P and negative will be canceled. So the CR will be 3Q by 4. 3Q by 4. Okay, the C part is find the value of the CR and the OC. The, and the value of the CR and the OC. So CR we have already found and okay. The CR is 3Q by 4 whereas the OC is Q. So Q, Q cancels, so you're left with the three by four. Three by four. Okay, so that is how you do this. Question number 16, okay. Then they have asked us to find out the area of the triangle TCR and the triangle ATB. TCR and the TAB, they, are, uh, they have the same base. Okay, so the area of the, the, oh, the triangle oh, uh, TCR and the area of the triangle TAB. So because these two triangles uh, here, the CR and the AB, they are parallel to each other. So the, the ratio of the areas between the triangle TCR and the triangle TAB is equals to the base one by base two whole square. So it will be three by four whole square. So that will be nine by 16. 9 by 
ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू द टी सी वी हैव फॉर्म द टी सी आर एंड दी ए पी सो वी नो द रेशो बिटवीन दियर साइड सो वी हैव सॉरी so we have found the area because they are similar so the area the ratio of the areas will be equals to the square of the ratio of the bases so this base is 3 and this base is 4 so it will be 3 by 4 whole square so that will be 9 by 16 so the next thing they are asking is question number 17 he says in the diagram the op is equals to the vector p and the oq is equals to the vector q and the the ps ratio sq is 3 ratio 2 so this is 3 this is 2 the total thing is 5 in the same way the oq ratio qt oq ratio qt is this is 2 portion this is 1 portion and the or ratio rp the or ratio rp so that will be 2 by 1 so uh so these are the ratios given he says express as simply as possible in the terms of a or of the q so first thing is they are asking me to find out the qp qp so these are the ratios written there so this is 2 1 ratio this is 2 3 ratio this is 1 2 ratio so they want us to find out uh, qp q to p so this is that diagram the ratios i have written there so their first question is what is the qp so the qp will be the qp will be equals to the from q go to a and from o go to p so the qp will be minus q plus p the qo is minus q so it will be minus q plus p p minus q okay so the next question they are asking is uh find the qs the qs okay so the qs will be equals to the qs by qp because i know the value of the qp qs by qp will be equals to 2 by 5 so the qs will be 2 by 5 qp so it will be 2 by 5 of the p minus q okay so the a second part is done now the a third part is find the os from o to s okay so os os so uh for the os i will make the bypass from o r o i will go to q and from q i will go to s the oq is p and the qs is 2 by 5 of the p minus q so the os will be equals to q plus 2 by 5 of the p minus 2 by 5 of the q the term which have q on the uh, so i will take their lcm so 5 will be the lcm so in the denominator in the numerator you will have 5 q minus 2 q divided by 5 so plus 2 by 5 p so you will have 3q by 5 plus 2 by 5p so it is 1 by 5 i will take 1 by 5 common so in the bracket you are left with the 3q plus 2p so this is how you do the question number a is third part and then we have uh st st so st is will be equals to sq plus qt so the st will be sq plus 1 by 2 of the oq 
So it will be 2 by 5 bracket P minus Q plus 1 by 2 Q. So you will have minus 2 by 5 P plus uh, 2 by 5 Q plus 1 by 2 Q. So minus 2 by 5 P plus. So I will take the LCM here. So it will be 4 Q plus 5 Q and divided by 10. So now you have 2 by 5 P plus 9 Q by 10. So I can take the LCM 10 and so the LCM will be 10. So you will have 1 by 10 bracket 9 Q minus 4 P. Then a very tricky part, question number 17 B part. It says show that the RS is equals to K times ST, where K is a constant. Okay. So RS, first of all, I will find RS. So if you want to find out the RS, you see, so what I will do, okay, RS. So for RS, I will go from R to O, from O to Q, and from Q to S. So the RS will be 2 by 3 of the PO. RO is 2 by 3 of the PO. I'm using that ratio. RO, R to O is 2 by 3 of the PO, and the OQ is OQ, and the QS. Uh, OQ plus the QS. So 2 by 3, the PO is minus P plus OQ is equals to Q and plus 2 by 5 of the P minus Q. In my previous question, we just found the QS value. You know, we have just found the QS value. In the last page, the QS, we, somewhere we have found the QS. Yeah, here we have the QS. Okay. So it will be two by three minus P plus Q plus two by five bracket P minus Q bracket close. So, so uh, let me, give me a minute. So um, uh, you will have minus two by three P, this will be plus Q, this will become two by five P, this will become minus two by five Q. The terms which have uh, Q, or uh, we will bring them together. The terms which have Q, we will bring them together. The P term, the terms which have P, we will bring them together. So you will have RS will be equals to the minus two P by three plus two by five P and plus Q minus two by five Q. So I will take the LCM of three and five, it will be 15. So upstairs we will have minus 10 P plus six P and the LCM of one and five will be five. So in the numerator you will have five Q minus two Q. So you can see, uh, okay. So you will have minus 4p by 15 plus 3q by 5. So take the LCM here. So I will 15 and 5, the LCM will be 15. So you will have minus 4p plus 9q. So I can take 1 by 5 outside and in the bracket I will write 9q minus 4p. So the RS is equals to 1 by 15, 9q minus 4p. And you know the ST we have found in our previous part that the value of the ST is one by 10 bracket nine Q minus four P. So if I divide both of them with each other, so RS by ST will be equals to one by 15 of the bracket nine Q minus four P bracket closed. And the ST is one by 10 bracket nine Q minus four P. This bracket, this bracket will be gone. And then you will have one by 15 multiply with the 10. Uh, and that will be 10 and 15. So it will be 10 by 15. So the RS will be equals to two by three of the ST. So the RS will be equals to two by three of the ST. 
So now you see the RS is equal to K times ST, which means that they are parallel to each other. Okay. Now in the They say write down two facts about the two point R, S, and T. So if you look at the R, S, and the S, K, they are parallel to each other, which means that the R, S, and the T, R, S, and the T are the collinears. Okay. Okay, now we are going to the next question. The next question is question number 18. Okay, so he says uh, in the diagram, the P, Q, R, and S are the midpoints of the A, B. So the P is the midpoint of the A, B, S is the midpoint of the A, C, and the Q is the midpoint of the B, D, and the R is the midpoint of the C, D. Uh, show that the P, Q is parallel to the A, D, and that the P, Q is equal to 1 by A, D. Okay. They're talking about PQ. I will find the PQ. Okay, first of all, I find the PQ. So the PQ for PQ, I will go from P to B, from B to Q. And so you see from for PQ, I will P to B, B to Q. So the P to B is half of the AB and P to Q is half of the BD. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use there. So the PQ is equal to PB plus BQ. And the PB is 1 by 2 of the AB and the BQ is 1 by 2 of the BD. So take 1 by 2 common. So you will have in the bracket AB plus BD, which is equals to AD. So PQ is equals to 1 by 2 AD. This is what we, he asked us to show. So PQ is equals to 1 by 2 of the AD. Yeah, that's right. Then they say PQRS is a parallelogram. So P Q R S P Q R S is a parallelogram. So if you want to prove that the P Q is uh, P Q R S is a parallelogram, for example, we have found a Q uh, sorry P Q side. I will find S R side, and in the same way, I will find the P S side. Then I will find the Q R side. So let me show you. Okay. So now I'm going to find out the S R. S R will be S C plus C R. S R will be equals to S R will be S C plus C R. S C is half of the A C and the C R is half of the C D. Okay. So the S C is 1 by 2 of the A C and the C R is 1 by 2 of the C D. So I take is 1 by 2 common. So SR will be equals to 1 by 2 bracket AC plus CD. So AC plus CD is AD. So SR will be equals to 1 by 2 of the AD. In the same way, I will try to find out the PS. PS will be PS. It will be P to A from A to S. So P to A will be half of the BA. And A to S will be half of the AC. Okay, so let me show you the PS will be equals to PA plus AS. So PS will be equals to 1 by 2 of the BA and the AS will be 1 by 2 of the AC. So take 1 by 2 common. So you will have uh, in the bracket BA plus AC. BA plus AC will be BC. So the PS is equals to 1 by 2 of the BC. In the same way, I will try to find out the value of the QR. You see the QR. QR will be from Q, I will go to the D. From D, I will go to the R. The QD is half of the BD and the DR is the half of the DC. Okay. So uh, QR is equal to the QD plus the DR. And the QR is equal to the QD is basically 1 by 2 of the BD. And the DR is equals to 1 by 2 of the DC. If you're looking at the diagram, then you can understand it very easily. Take 1 by 2 common. So QR will be equals to 1 by 2 bracket BD plus DC. Right close. Now the QR will be equals to 1 by 2 BD plus DC. BD plus DC, that is BC. Now, if you look at the values, of, uh, if you look at the results, of, uh, let me show you. The first result second, third, and the fourth. 
you will realize that you will realize that the PQ is parallel to the SR from the first and the second. We can tell that because you see both have the same uh, same answers. PQ is half of the AD and the SR is half of the AD, so the they are equal to each other. From third and the fourth, I can say that the PS is parallel to the QR. So the PQRS is a parallelogram. So uh, my dear students, uh, today uh, we have uh, completed the exercise 7D, which was about the factors. Uh, this was from the book D4. Uh, the name of the book is New Syllabus, Mathematics 7th Edition. So uh, we have done this exercise. I hope you have understood the, the concepts of these exercises. So, you know, uh, if you have found this exercise uh, interesting and you have learned something from this exercise, please do share the link of this uh, video with your class fellows, with your students, and with your junior students. And uh, because when you like this uh, video and you share the link of this video onto your Facebook, Twitter account, and Instagram, that helps me promote my channel. It's a great blessing for me that I can make these videos and touch so many students around the globe. Thank you very much. Have a good day. God bless you all.